car's currently misfiring for some reason. to another 3000 GT video. As you guys saw in that GoPro footage, the car started misfiring pretty bad last night. I don't know where this is after we did the AEM wideband and the three inch cutout install. Today we're basically gonna be focusing on everything that's wrong with the 3000 GT. It does have a couple little quirks that I have to work out. And well, I wanted to dedicate this video to kind of go over that with you guys. So starting off with the brake light, I have noticed that when I brake, this side of the tail light doesn't turn on and my right turn signal doesn't work as well. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is basically a hyperblink. It's basically indicating that there's something wrong with your uh, your headlight or tail light wiring or bulbs. When I go to the right, it makes this really weird sound. And as you guys can see on the gas gauge, for some reason, my gas light turns on right at a quarter tank. It does not go any lower than that. So we are gonna be inspecting the uh, fuel pump in the back just to make sure that everything's properly heated. I also did notice that we're missing the 10 millimeter bolt holding the bumper on to the fender. So we'll be adding one of those. My driver's side headlight went out because uh, Aaron accidentally broke the uh, HID bulbs. So I do have an extra one that we're gonna try and see if it fits. But as you guys can see, only that side's working. Besides that, I do have to remove the fender liner because it's hitting my wheel when I turn and also the car is making an extremely weird noise so I'm going to be removing the wheel inspecting everything in there just to make sure that everything's properly put together but besides that I was actually able to find the rest of my wiring for the white band so this is the plug that hooks up to the O2 sensor down here I did try to plug it in last night but it wasn't fitting so I did go ahead and find this O2 sensor that plugs into that plug just fine so as you guys can see, there is a lot of stuff wrong with the 3000 GT. Hopefully I'm able to figure out most of the issues today. And if something doesn't get fixed, hopefully you guys can kind of lead me into the right direction in the comment section below. So I'll keep you guys in the loop. Hey. Breakfast for who? For me or you? Oh, nice. Your favorite. I need code readers. Oh. <laughs> Can we just admire this, or did you already get this in your video? What? This wall scroll? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be selling this one. Oh, this one's nice. I like it. I personally like it because no, I'm a little biased. Are you kidding me? Can you, like, yeah, I mean, maybe this... one day, like, ch oh my, look at the corrosion on that. Push it down and then you squish it out. You twist and pull. Okay, yeah. Because cool. sometimes they get stuck in there where you need to use We're pliers men. to get them out. What does that have to do with anything? Poor men. We take it out with our bare hands. No. No. <laughs> it's actually, I think I'm buffer than you. Okay. <laughs> Where? Whoa, 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 buddy. Where? <laughs> you want me to pull out the gun show? So we're going to go ahead and replace all three bulbs. Because that one's really corroded. Got to grab onto some metal. <sighs> Look at you got it. Nice. You really have to clean that. I'm gonna spend the time on it. I got five on it. know. Okay, so <laughs> uh, for some reason, a 10 millimeter bolt fell off the bumper, so it's in the details. Just knocking it out while we're here. Why is your tongue out? Oh <laughs> you know how you make that face, you're like thinking too hard. When was the last time you were on a vlog? I don't know, you tell me. He doesn't want me in his vlogs anymore. Wow. Have you ever been in this car? Been in it? Yeah, like, well, yeah, I've never given you a red in it, huh? I don't think so. We should do a reaction video on it. Mm -hmm. It's the slowest car out of all three, so. Oh, well then. I don't think you'll get scared. I, I won't get a reaction at all. <laughs> Wanna bet? Bet. All right, I video. got a reaction. I mean, you barely got a reaction out of me from the Evo. I oh, did like the Eclipse, though. The Eclipse, the Eclipse just feels more raw. Oh, wait, you can see me. Hello. <laughs> They're here for the 3,000 GT. Wow, sorry. <laughs> Just speaking for 
most of the menu. He said, when's the last time you were in a video? I'm not. I'm usually behind the camera, so. You're not. You're usually home watching Netflix. <laughs> On to issue number 553. I'm not sure it has that many, but this is what we have. Do you need this yet? No, we'll do that right after this. Okay. How about that? I mean, obviously the misfire is probably the biggest. You think? Issue. I don't think that 10 millimeter bolt was that big of an issue. Yeah, but it was bugging me. What the? Now I'm a hood. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. The Evo could never. Looks like a silver one. Over. What's up with you even worrying about the light bulbs? Shouldn't we worry about the. Yes. Oh. Now nice. you see. Oh, I didn't turn it on a light. Yeah. I'm gonna start a fire like this. Yeah, I think. Okay, that's enough. Okay, we got it. Plugged in? Yeah. Alright, let's check the codes. What's your guess? Come on, I'll help you. Ow! Pull, baby! Give me your hand. I fudged myself. There you go. Come on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yep. Just as I thought. Need what? a new car. Holy hell. How many codes? 12 <laughs> codes. Oh, man. We need to throw this car away. <laughs> That's what I've been telling you. So we went ahead and looked up all of these codes. Uh, so for... The 156 and 161, those are for the O2 Bank 2 sensors. Uh, we did delete the CATs and all that stuff, so I'm assuming those codes are coming from there. We have the 446 and 403, which is for emission. We did delete the EGR and the EVAP canister. Um, as far as the P1104 and 1105, it's telling me that I have a map and map malfunction. So they're both throwing codes. I'm not sure why I did check both of them, and I did clean out the map sensor at one point. Um, as far as the P0170s, the PCM field trim outside specification, outside manufacturer, which is basically the saying that it's running either rich or lean. So if you guys have any input as far as all of these codes, write it down in the comments. Let me know because I do have to figure this out. The car is misfiring right now, and I'm not too sure which one it could be. So. Hey, baby, are you going to help me with the Evo boost? No. Why not? Because I don't want you to be fast. Wow. It'd be your own. Well, what's the issue? Uh, so my gas gauge isn't really correct. And uh, I ran the gas ones because of it because I didn't know. Aren't you used to that with the Evo? Oh! Man, this is the last time I invite you over. We literally always run out of gas when we're in the Evo. <laughs> I'm just used to it at this point. I just jump out and I'm just like, all right, let's push. start pushing. <laughs> yeah, this car's actually a little heavy though. This one was, yeah. Yeah, this one, I, I mean, the hood is heavy. Yeah, it took uh, three of us to push this thing into a gas station. Good thing I'm buff now. You're not buff. Yes, I am. It's kind of hard to get out. Oh, it makes me want to dribble, dribble, you know, riding in my Fiat. You really have to see it. You're going to get me copyrighted. Two <laughs> and a comp. Why, do I sound that good? No. Oh, well. Okay, so what's going on here? So this is what usually reads the, uh, the gas gauge. You see the tabs right there? You have to make sure that it's fully clicked on. Oh, and this card's very fragile. Yeah, very fragile. And then the parts are hard to find, so... Let's just clip this little baby coral back on. Yeah, we'll put it back in and see how it runs after this. Bah. Bah. All right, so as you guys can see, I do have the fender liner. It's already partially cut. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it just to avoid uh, this thing kind of digging into my tires. I did also inspect all my suspension and brake components and I noticed that the sound is actually coming from this metal, I guess, bracket thing here. It's touching the rotor so when I make a turn or something, I'm assuming it's making direct contact. So I'm gonna have to bend that more towards the right. <laughs> it 
happens to the best of us. Uh, happens to you. Yeah, pretty often. <laughs> this is where you guys can kind of see where the fender liner was actually scraping the tire, so it's primarily the reason why I just wanted to get rid of it. And they don't make these tires anymore, so. Yeah, Federals are discontinued officially, so. Poor, poor guys. Okay. Those are some good cheap tires too, if you have Federals. It's like best thing for your butt type of thing. Yeah. I still have Federals on my Evo. Well, it's also because it's not driven, so. Uh, those tires are also bad, aren't they? <laughs> You're bad. What's this filter look? Oh, that looks cool. As I told you guys before, I did put the wrong O2 sensor for the AEM wideband. So we'll be replacing that. Uh, we are scraping a little bit on the cutter, as you guys can see here, but it's nothing major from what I can see, but... Yeah, so let me swap these out real quick, and we should have a working wideband sensor. There she is. It's running really rich. On a good note, my gas gauge level indicator is officially working, so I no longer have to worry about uh, wondering if this car is gas or not, so that's a plus. All right, so I ended up going out to AutoZone and purchasing the bulbs for the uh, rear tail lights. As you guys can see, they only sell them in two packs. Uh, part number four, it's going to be 2057 and 2057A for amber for the turn signals. Uh, they were like seven bucks each. So I'll go ahead and install that. And I officially wanted to announce these long overdue holographic stickers of the VR4 and as you guys know whenever I make holographic stickers I only sell them one time so once they're sold out they're pretty much gone so if you own one of the holographic stickers it's a little bit special because you can't buy them ever again so it's kind of cool something I like to do with uh, the people that like to buy this stuff Unplugged it. As you guys can see. Huh. That is weird. Let me plug it back in. You guys let me know what you think that means. Or do you think it might be my coal pack in PTU? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the map, put the air filter back on. We're gonna drive it to the gas station with it plugged. Once we get there, I'll fill up a little bit on gas. We'll drive it back home with it unplugged and see the difference on how it drives and how it sounds. Honestly, things like this do unmotivate me at times, but I mean, I'm just here to document my whole process and hopefully motivate a couple of you guys to uh, push through it when times like these come. Just listen to how it sounds and you guys let me know what you guys think. It definitely still sounds like a Subaru to me. Definitely lost in power. Not running good whatsoever. Six forty nine. Is it me or is it going back up in price? Nah, these guys' prices have you up. Wow, oh, 91. 689 for 91 right now. It would actually be smarter to go over to 85 just because it's so much cheaper. At least she looks good though. <laughs> Needs a wash. All 
right, so the map is disconnected. Let's see if it even makes it home. to be honest. got back home the VR4 was pretty much running the same with or without uh, the mass airflow sensor connected so I'm gonna go ahead and look some up online I might ask a couple of local 3000 GT guys see if anyone has one laying around that I could test out to see if that fixes the issue uh, but yeah the car is running super weird we're getting super close to finishing it off and well delays like this kind of suck because I do want to start on the Evo build super super soon so um, I'm a one-man team, so be patient. I don't know everything. I'm not a Mitsubishi Master Tech. I have never worked at a job where I work on cars, so I've kind of just learned as I went. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and close out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on next week's video.